Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying 11 funny food hacks by Crafty Panda. Let's do this. Ah! Okay guys, so here's our garlic. Here's our jar. Now what we gotta do is take said garlic and put it in the sad jar. Woo! Okay, now it's time to shake it. Oh. I didn't even plan that. How? I thought I closed this. It hit me in the face. I've never been hit in the face with garlic in my life. You, you are gonna freaking stay shut and you are not gonna hit me in the face anymore. You're gonna stay shut. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now let's shake it. Let's open this bad boy up! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. We got the freaking cloves out, dude. This actually freaking works. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works. Let's go make some, like, pizza or something. Where the heck am I? What do I do? my way home after somehow ending up in the middle of the desert once again I found myself looking for a way home I walked for hours and hours I climbed mountains but then suddenly something magical happened thing. Let's see, do I have anything in my pockets? <gasps> okay, well I guess I'll try it. So we just, uh, maybe I can get a rock and, oh man, come on. Ah, this is so hard. Ah! Almost. And it went through! Okay, just gotta do it all the way around. I'm doing it! Oh no, I almost lost it. I almost lost my coin. Ugh. There's some points where it just doesn't want to go through. Oh my gosh, I'm not even halfway done. Why is this so hard? This hurts my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna start on the other side, because that's that's too much for me. I just get it in a really thick part of the rind. Ow! Look, my hands are starting to turn green. It's like I'm the Hulk or something. This is so much harder than I thought. Ah, I did it! For the love of five minute crafts, I really hope that this works. Okay, now apparently it should just break right in half. One, two, and... Ah! Come on, why aren't you breaking in half? Well guys, I guess we can say it works! Okay, so here are our chips. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in a smaller bag. Get in there. I feel like I'm gonna need a good amount to do this. There we go. That ought to do it. Okay. And I just go ahead and close that up. Then we get our hammer and we kind of just start. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this chicken up that I uh, already pre-boiled into strips. I feel like I cut the wrong way. I think I was supposed to cut with the grain, but I cut against it. You know, this is my first time, so I'm trying, okay? Then we get our bag of chips and just sort of start tossing them in there. There we go. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah, it looks good. Let's fry up some chicken. Pot, oil, fire. 
Okay, it looks good. I guess I'm supposed to let this boil for a little bit. I've never actually fried anything like this before, so we'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and let it heat up and uh, yeah. Okay, so our oil is all heated up to 333 degrees. A little bit hotter, actually. Let's go ahead and try and fry this bad boy. This is magical. I looked online and it said to do it for about two minutes. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I really hope this turns out good because I would love to learn how to make homemade fried chicken. <gasps> I dropped it now. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that sit in there for a second. Add in another one. Not looking bad. Here we go. Uh oh, I lost track of which ones went in first. That's not good. Uh, where'd it go? Probably shouldn't have put them all in at the same time. No? Okay, you look like you're kind of cooking. I feel like all, since all the skin fell off, I have to like take it out and then put it back inside. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, so let's hope this turns out okay. Just gonna mix that up some more. Maybe that'll help some more of the breading stick on there. Oh, back in you go. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a second and hopefully this actually cooks. Okay, it's been sitting in there for a sec. Let's see how they turned out. Ooh, we're getting there. It's definitely cooking and it also kind of looks like fried chicken. That's cool. Wow, okay. This one definitely looks really good because I put more of the fry stuff on it. I actually also went and did this with Doritos just to see what would happen. So uh, let's go ahead and put this Dorito one in there. I feel like this one's gonna turn out really good. Or it could turn out really awful. We don't know. I'd say that's almost done. Fried chicken one, or the Doritos one. Okay, I let these guys cook a little bit longer. Let's take some of them out. Here we go. Put it on this. Boopity boop, boopity boop, boopity boop. And this is the big one. I'm gonna give this a couple more minutes and then I think it'll be good. Let's go ahead and test these puppies out. Okay guys, here it is. The fried chicken. Oh. Look at it, it's beautiful, isn't it? I think I did pretty freaking good for my first job making fried chicken. Okay, so here's the first one. Okay, it's a little dry, not too bad. I think it might be because it's a smaller piece of chicken. Also because I boiled it first. I don't know if you're supposed to boil the chicken before you fry it. That might be a bad thing to do. Not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one. This is the Doritos one. Okay, yeah. The thicker chicken is definitely better. It's not as like hard. It's more juicy in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. My fingers are so greasy. Look at this. That looks like some good chicken. Tori Nebraska, do you want to try? It's pretty good chicken. I have to admit. Tori Nebraska! Try some fried chicken. I got this piece specially for you. Which one is it? This one's the normal kind. And this is the Doritos one. Here, come down here. No, you, you gotta come down here, Tori Nebraska. We have to try it. Look how flaky and crunchy it is. Is it good? No, bad. I think it's pretty good for my first try at fried chicken. It's pretty good. I don't think I could do that. Good. Mine'd be really gross. Do you like it? Whoa, it's Tori approved. What would you give this this hat? One out of ten. I give One it through ten. An eight. An eight? This is the highest ranking we've had for a hack this whole time we've been doing hacks. I don't know if you see what you mean. It's a little dry. It is kind of dry. It's definitely not Cane's. But Tori, what are you doing up there? Can, get down here. It's definitely not Cane's, but it's really good. I, I recommend trying this if you do. I'm also gonna give it like an eight out of 10. Oh, try this one. This is a Doritos one. I don't know if I want to try that one. It's really good. I'm okay. It tastes better. I'm okay. Oh my God. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say if this one works. Guys, I have a confession. I'm a little fan of, of this one. Ugh, these are awful. Okay. I'm just gonna take this thing apart. No! We got that off. Turn it on. Oh no. Does it not work if the faceplate's not on? This is weird. Um, is this actually broken? Oh, okay. Yeah, this doesn't look dangerous at all. Should I put my finger in it? No, I'm not gonna do that. That's so stupid. So you know what would make this fan even more fun? We just freaking skewers to it. I ran out of chopsticks, I'm sorry. Break out our hot glue. Here we go. And my glue gun's not heated up. Ah! Are you heated up yet? Oh, you are, perfect. Do you guys wanna see something really cool? <laughs> is a very used tongue. Anyway, let's do this. I need to tighten this up a little bit. That is not going anywhere. I should have made it straight, actually. There we go. Oh my gosh, stay, yes. Let me do the next one, and the next one. Ah, this is so scary. Ah, death spikes are falling. In case you guys are wondering how the skewers are freaking staying up, I'm actually using my, uh, my, my camera mount. And now I have nothing to mount my camera on. It's gonna be handheld shots for the rest of my videos. Just really reinforce. Oh gosh. Okay, now to wait for it to dry. Time to see if these bad boys will stay up by themselves. You ready? Yes! It did it! I'm so proud of you. Okay, now for the scary part. Okay, so here are our eggs. Oh my gosh, those literally blend in with the table. So I don't have a ball, but you know what I do have? A giant Easter egg. 
So now we're just gonna go ahead and put our egg inside the giant egg. This is poetry, really. Yes! Put that in the other shell. Oh no. Dang it. You guys ready to see if I made the worst decision of my life? Uh, yep, me too. Here we go. And power on. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so we'll try this again. Ready for this nightmare fuel? Oh! This is crazy. I feel like one's gonna fly off and hit me in the eye. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on really quick. Do I look cool? Mm -hmm. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. Uh, uh, get in there. Oh no. These death spikes, it's kind of working. Uh, I don't think it's working very well. Oh no. Yeah? The fan keeps stopping. Wow, that was pretty freaking anticlimactic. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking doesn't work. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should do this with a giant fan. If you guys wanna watch me do that in the future, make sure you hit that freaking subscribe button. If not, uh, that's your freaking loss, dude. Okay, now let's go do the next hack. I'm making omelets. Okay, here's our plate, here's our microwave. Oh, I'm so happy that didn't break. One minute. Okay, our plate's all hot. Well, not really, I feel like I need to put it in a little longer. Okay, I put it in for another 30 seconds. Hopefully that's good enough. Next, we're gonna get our butter. Just kinda put it all over that, like that. Yeah, that should be enough butter. Next, we add our egg. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Next, we're gonna pop the sucker in for another two minutes. Please don't explode, please don't explode, please don't explode. I'll see you guys in two minutes. Okay, and uh, this is how it turned out. I'm not gonna lie, I actually attempted to record me uh, trying it, and it's not bad. I'll just give you another bite. I already put salt and pepper on it. It looks like it actually cooked all the way through, but the edges are kind of like, I don't know if I wanna call that burnt, but they're just very hard. So here we go. Okay, yeah, it's honestly not too bad. It's a little dry, kind of a bit of a dry egg, but it's definitely cooked all the way through. So guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, so it looks like I need to find some cereal. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. You're not even cereal. Uh, oh my god, I'm having flashbacks! Ah! Ah! Is this not real cereal? <laughs> that was a really good dog feed thing. <laughs> This should, this should work fine. And it looks like we're all out of milk. Luckily, Johnny left his chocolate milk here, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Okay, guys, got our chocolate milk. Got our lava loops. Now I just gotta um, take off my shirt. I'm a little self-conscious, guys, so uh, don't look. Okay, so luckily I have a really big uh, collarbone, like right there, so I think this hack might actually work. I have to get a spoon, I completely forgot. So it looks like I'm all out of spoons, but luckily I have a fork. This couldn't possibly go wrong at all. <laughs> okay, here we go. So let's just get our uh, get our llama loops. This isn't sponsored, by the way, by llama loops. So, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna like that. Oh my, oh, that's actually, oh. okay, there we go. This probably looks so ridiculous. Oh, no, I keep falling. Stop. Llama loops, I demand you to stop. I feel like this would work a lot better if I was laying down. Then we just get our milk like that. Oh, ah. no, we're not poured out. Stop. Okay, there's still some in there. Then we got our fork. Ah. <laughs> um, 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 um. Yeah, this works great. I got one lava loop. Ah, oh, it's going down my oh no, it's going down my pants. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, guys, so I would highly not recommend doing this one. It it not make my life better. Not a life hack. Uh, zero out of ten. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Don't do it. Or do. I don't care. Yeah, I, you're your own person. Okay, 
Okay, so here's our meltable chocolate. I wonder if I can melt this chocolate by just putting it outside in the Las Vegas sun. Let's see, temperature in Las Vegas. Dang, it looks like it's only 95 degrees right now, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. And that is by putting it in the microwave. Yup, this is how the pilgrims melted chocolate, believe it or not. Okay, we're all done. Ooh, that's hot. Let's see, that melted enough? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty melted. Perfect. Okay, now here's our Oreos. Just put these sticks in there, just like how they did in the video. Boobity boo. Then we just kind of split the white chocolate all over the Oreo. Man, this is gonna be so unhealthily delicious. Is unhealthily even a word? I use a lot of words that aren't words on this channel, and you know, if you can't make fun of the English language, what can you make fun of? Yeah, that looks pretty dang good. And we'll do our other one. Delicious, but not nutritious. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to add the sprinkles. Let's see what color do I want to do. Red's nice. Here we go. Oh, that looks so good. I'm just getting the sprinkles everywhere though. Maybe a little bit of blue. Wow. Yep, I did a good job on these bad boys. Just gonna go ahead and let these babies cool off for a little bit and then we'll see how they turned out. Okay guys, so here are our Oreos. I actually already started eating one because I uh, tried recording my testing of it before and I wasn't recording. Oops, I feel so silly right now. Anyway, they turned out pretty good. Uh, like, they look really nice. The backs turned out a little funky, though. I don't know, just all the sprinkles kind of melted together. Not a big deal. It's it's still delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and taste the one that I already took a big old bite out of. Yep, it's just as good this time as it was the first time. Honestly, 5 Minute Crafts really knows what they were doing this time. I'm gonna have to give this hack probably a 9 out of 10 because I freaking love white chocolate and I love Oreos and the two together are just... They're perfect. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Got an Oreo stuck in my teeth? It. I love myself uh, some good clean uh, plates. So we're just gonna keep this puppy clean just by using some old plastic wrap. Great for everybody. Except for the environment. Ooh, uh. Awesome. Fan freaking tastic. Great. You know what I could use? I'm really in the mood for some Doritos. Oh, get, it, get out of there. You know. It's good enough. Oh my gosh, these are these are so. I love. Let me. I'm just gonna eat. I don't know what to do with this now. I guess I just gotta eat them all. Mm, mm. Oh my god, I've had Doritos in six years. My mom used to have to hide these from me because I would steal them and eat them all in one day. She would get three packs of these and they'd be gone by the end of the day. Oh, perfect. Well, they're all gone. Are you guys ready to see if this guy works? Okay, and three, two, one. Oh! Such a clean plate, except for all these crumbs. How is this even? What? How is this possible? How? What? If you put plastic wrap over a freaking plate, it doesn't get. To, I never knew. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one freaking works. So I'm actually running out of chocolate to use, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and use this white chocolate. Ugh. Oh, my finger, ouch! Okay, put that in there. I'm sure that'll work. Man, why do I always do this to my spoon? Okay, now I throw this in the microwave. I'm sure it microwaves the same way that this chocolate does. Or I could be horribly wrong, who knows? Okay, good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I feel like that's not a good thing you're supposed to leave in the microwave. Put it on my disgusting stove top. And I'll see you boys in one minute. Oh, got chocolate on my microwave. <laughs> okay, how you guys turn out? Oh, it actually melted properly, cool. And I also gotta grab some sprinkles. Oh man, this looks so delicious. Okay, so here are our balloons. I'm gonna go ahead and blow one of these up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks like it's a good size. Hide that. Cool. Bring this over. Mix that up one more time. Oh man, that looks so good. That's like marbled chocolate. Now we're just gonna cover the balloon in chocolate. Oh my gosh, yes. What the heck even, dude? Oh, this is gonna be so delicious. I just have to make sure that I do it evenly. Oh gosh. Okay, get on there. Oh no, this is getting everywhere. <laughs> No, stay on. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's all this chocolate covering the balloon. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so good. Okay, now put this off to the side. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. Put that right there. I need a flat surface to put it on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here's my parchment paper. <gasps> no, it's stuck to the balloon. I always make such a mess. Oh my gosh. This looks so delicious. Oh, then I gotta put sprinkles on it. So let's try and put the, oh, frick. 
Just put sprinkles all over it. Uh, next sprinkles. Here's some rainbow ones. Oh god, they're everywhere! Oh, I got on my camera. Okay, cool. Yeah, that looks good. Dude, this looks amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this in our freezer. I have to make sure I don't drop it. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is scary. I have to do a bouncing act to get it all the way down there. Uh, now join your family. Okay, be good now. Okay, let's have a peek. Whoa. It looks like an apple, like a candy apple. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this chilled plate that I have. I'll clean that up later. My goodness, this is a piece of art, I tell you what. Okay, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit of patience to come off. I'm trying really hard not to break this thing. Come on. And then if I touch it, the chocolate gets a little bit hotter and then it becomes more brittle. So I can barely even touch it. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <gasps> no, I just made a hole in the bottom. Dang it, I'm so close. Okay, it's almost all out. Come on. No. Okay, it's almost all out. Uh -huh. No! Okay, almost there. How'd they get the balloon to not stick? Okay, it's a little scary that there's some rubber in here now, but, um, you know, no big deal. What am I gonna do? I need to patch that or something. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Um, you know, except for this hole right here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll be right back. Okay, let's add some ice cream. Oh, man. Ooh, rainbow sherbet! Oh, man, I'm gonna need so much ice cream to fill this. Okay, this ice cream is really hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out the blowtorch. Oh, that's a little better. That should be enough ice cream. Next, I'm gonna break out some whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, that looks so good. Then we're gonna add our little leaf thing. This one kind of is a fail, but that's fine. Let me get some of our weird uh, bubble wrap chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That looks pretty good, actually. If you guys would eat this, tell me down in the comments down below. Next, I need to add a spoon. Boop and boop. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Tori Dabransky. I have a present for you. You want some? <gasps> that is beautiful, Robbie. Oh my goodness. You want some? Yeah, I'm so proud. Oh. I mean, there's whipped cream on it, so it's a little gross. I know, but there's so much chocolate everywhere. Is it just filled with whipped cream? Oh no, there's ice cream in there too. Okay, I was like, oh no. Are you joking? Did you really put whipped cream on rainbow sherbet ice cream, <laughs> Robbie? Out of all the like combinations, you chose that one? I mean, this has a little bit of the leaf left in it. Does that just mean it's gonna be minty? Are the leaves actually still in this, Robbie? No, there, no. Okay, that's good. That's good? Yeah. I'm actually really surprised. I mean, I do not approve of the whipped cream and ice cream combo, but like this bit's cool. Whoa! Oh, oh no, you have a little. I know, I have a little hole. Just nurse it, yes, nurse. Nurse the ice cream. Is good? I was expecting it to be mint, but it's, it's I'm, <laughs> it's good. I really like the also oh, balloon bits. Oh, you gotta be careful for those. Those are kind of scattered all inside of that thing. Can you clean it out first? I did, I tried. Okay, well, I approve. This is very much, I wish I had different ice cream, but I approve. So you think it works? It looks like you have ice cream on your little. Oh, I have, it's chocolate. Oh. Uh, Aw, it's there forever. Well, I'm gonna have to say it works! I have to destroy this somehow. I have to destroy it? Don't you want to eat it? Okay, I'm gonna destroy it. Ready? No, not in my room. No, no. I'm gonna eat it. Oh, no. I got it. Wait, wait, let me put it in your face. No, there's yeah. spoons in there. I'll take the spoons out. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. No, oh, I can't breathe. It's in my nose. <laughs> Did it work? Oh, it's so good. Let me drop it a little bit. <laughs> Mmm, this is some good stuff. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. No, no, take it back. You, uh, I don't you want enjoy it. it. I don't want it. I'll see you later. No, no, here Goodbye. You. <laughs> okay, this one's easy peasy. Just crack an egg. Oh, just crack an egg into a bowl. Oh man, I really wish that this yolk was separated. Here's our bottle. Just gonna suck it up. Oh, it worked! It actually worked! Wow, it's not like I haven't seen this work a thousand times online before! Well guys, I guess we said this one works! You ever want to separate a yolk? This is how you do it, boys. Woo! Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look some of this fight right down there. If you guys want to watch me do even more life hacks and crafts, I will playlist take me doing them right here! If you guys are new, make sure to freaking hit that subscribe button! Turn on notifications, do all that fun stuff. If you guys want any shirts, stickers, and my other merch, you can click right here. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending? Okay, bye!